What's up guys? My name is Connor Del Carmen. Uh, my mile best is 416 and last Friday I ran 441, 25 seconds off my personal best. So this is like one of those videos where like, I'm not exactly sure what I want to get out of it. There are a lot of times where like, I know the narrative that I want to kind of induce with you guys as the audience. But for this one, like my goal isn't even necessarily to be motivational or bright and cheery about like how you can always come back, but just rather kind of show like what a low looks like because I feel that's so hidden. And I'm not even gonna like talk running community for that. It's kind of like me as well, you know? Like a lot of times I only show you guys my highs, like I run sub uh, 15 or like sub 420 in the mile, but like I don't always show my lows, so like so I'm going to kind of show that a little bit. And I feel like I feel a little bit better about the race now that it's been a couple days, but still it's really disappointing. One of the things I've kept on trying to do is I guess like look at the situation, why am I upset besides the time itself? And I guess when I look at it, one of the things I realize is the horizon of expectations. When you don't meet those, whether they're realistic or not, you're bound for disappointment. And I mean, I guess going in, I was a little bit um, delusional. I guess I told my coaches that. Like I thought I'd be right back, I guess, in my like 420 shape. But I guess where I'm going with that is my expectations were so much higher. And like you build it up anytime you're cross training in the pool, you've been hurt for three, four months and you haven't run a race in five, you just build it up in your head so much that like you imagine yourself winning the race. And I mean, that's fair. Like who wants to get back out there and like have this realistic expectation when they're like in the pool training? Oh, my first race back, I'll get eighth. Like, no, I was thinking for months, I'm gonna win this damn race. I'm gonna pick right back up where I left off. And I don't always mean to just milk the injury narrative dry, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that that was a big part of all of this. So the gun goes off and Enrique, one of my big conference rivals, darts to the front and he's like looking for a fast time, like probably close to 415, ended up running I think like 418, 419. So a good time. Um, but like, that's what I'm used to keeping up with, you know, like I run from the front and like, I'm still of the mind that I deserve to be up there. And I click off, I think a 34 for 209. So it's like a 32, 32, five through 200. Then I run like a 33. And I think like another 33, then a 34. And then like 35, 36. Thirty-eight. I think I bring it back to like 36 for my final lap, but it was just painful to watch and I'll be putting in clips here over me talking, but it was just so defeating and it was not as if that was an easy race for me. I ran 441 and I was as tired as if I would have run 415. You know, I was just dead after the race, like sprawled on the track. Um, so it was tough. And if like there's one thing I want people to know is like that watching that, like those clips again and making this video are like almost physically painful for me. Like I feel like almost like dirty watching it. Um, but just like, it's so hard to have something in mind for how you want something to go and then just for it not to go to plan. But like then I had some journal thoughts then from that night, but Here's what I said, it's like my personal journal, but I go, today's race was disappointing. Let's unpack why. I'll respond to my thoughts later. And this is not from the journal, but for me, like these are just raw thoughts. It doesn't mean that like, this is who I think I am, but like these are, this is like how I felt. I go, I feel like I've let down everyone who believes in me and my comeback. I feel like I'm a fraud. I'm not as good as advertised and don't deserve recognition. I feel like it might be the beginning of the end. 
my race didn't unfold how I thought it would be after building it up in my head for months. I feel like I've been working for months for nothing. I feel people overestimate my strength. I have feelings, want to be liked, and care about how others think of me. And I go, I'm sick of investing so much for so little. Now, this isn't like meant to be a pity party or a I'm gonna quit running video or screw it, the season's toast after the first race. But I mean, like, there's, I think that the whole positive psychology movement we have in society is great as on like the whole for establishing a mainframe for how we wanna think. But I don't want that to invalidate like the emotions that people, but especially athletes feel. I mean, like, how I, how I felt after that, I'm sure like a lot of people can relate. Like, you feel like dirt, you feel less than. It's not true. I mean, I just think about what I'd tell anybody else. Like, that it would be their first race after a stress fracture, that, like, they went up against good competition, that it's a long season, like, outdoors more imperative to us than indoor, all those things. But, like, the thoughts that go up, like, in here, like, those are all valid. It doesn't make them right. It doesn't make them the right way to think. And it's not like a call out to get attention, but like, I think that it's something that we need to address um, and just say that each one of us is more than that. And that like, we are enough. And like, this isn't meant to be like a motivational cliche video, but that's just how I feel about everything. And I guess I'll just wrap it up by saying that like, I feel like I am a good athlete. I am a good person. I am enough. I am gonna have a better season and I will have a better races. We got another shot this weekend. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to have a truthful, forthright video. And I appreciate like my coaches and parents and family and friends, of course, like all that stuff that they've helped me out a lot. But uh, I'll take a page out of Coach Shane's book, something that he says like to everyone watching out there, if you haven't heard it today, like, I love you, you know, you're a good person. Bye.